Welcome everyone back to the channel, and if you are new here, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to combine a matplotlib plot to a tkinter interface and make it interactive. Let's get started. So this is going to be the starting point for our video, and our goal in this video is to plot a sine wave with values that we place in these text boxes. So every time we press calculate, we're going to be getting a different graph that updates sort of interactively with whatever values we enter here. So that's going to be accomplished using two steps. The first step is to actually grab the values from the text box, which is this update values method, and then we actually want to plot the values using matplotlib. I've posted this code in the description, so feel free to grab it and follow along. So the first step is to come into this top level and say from math, import the sine function. And then we want to say from matplotlib, import pyplot as plt. Then we're going to say from matplotlib.backends.backendtkag, import figure canvas tk ag and i'm just going to post this in the description as well just in case it's a little bit confusing it's a pretty big import statement so remember the first step is to actually grab the values from the text boxes and what we want to do is store all those values in these instance variables we have in this window class so all we do is say that the amplitude equals the value from the amplitude text box and in code that means self.amplitude equals self dot amplitude entry dot get. So this is just updating the instance variable with the value from the entry. And we're going to typecast that to a floating point value and do this for the remainder of the four variables. So now we have all four variables updated with the entry values. And now to end this function, we want to call the plot values method. Obviously that method is empty, but we're going to be filling it in right now. So the first step to actually plot the values is to create an empty list called y, and we want to populate this y list with the sine equation from our values of amplitude, phase shift, so on and so forth. So I've created a list of t values up the top of this code, and this is just a list from 0 to 2 pi of length 100. And I could have used linspace in numpy, but I didn't want to use numpy in this video. So we want to say for x in the t list, y dot append the sine equation, which is amplitude times sine of frequency times t plus the phase shift and all of that plus the vertical shift. So that's going to be filling up our list with the sine equation. Once we have that completed, we actually want to plot the values. So we're going to create a figure. We're going to say that figure equals plt.figure. The fig size equals 5, 4, and the dpi, which is the resolution, is going to be 100. We're going to say figure.add subplot 111. This means that the subplot is one row by one column, and we're placing this at the one entry. So it's only going to be one plot, but we're just going to use subplot dot plot so the actual plotting values is t and y now we want to say that chart equals figure canvas tk ag the first argument is figure and the second one is the root variable which for me is going to be self dot root now we want to add the chart to the tk interface so we're going to say chart dot get tk widget dot grid which is actually telling it where to go for my case is going to be these fifth row and the zeroth column. So this is all the information we need to actually plot it, but let's add some things to make it look better. We're going to say plt.grid, which basically just turns a grid on the plot. We're going to say that axes equals plt.axes, and this is just setting the axis limit so that every time we update the values, the graph isn't shifting all over the place. So we're going to set an x limit from 0 to 2 pi, which is about 6.3, and then we're going to set the y limit from, let's just say negative 3 to 3. So now if we run this, we're going to see that we start out with a sine wave, 
and whatever values we put in for the amplitude and frequency we can say the amplitude's two and the frequency is two and there we go our values are actually changing if we want to update the frequency to let's say five and the amplitude is two we're going to get a wave that repeats a lot and the vertical shift if we make it negative three it's going to go to the bottom and that's going to do it for this video. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching.